So the next step is to um, <laughs> have a pastor and biblical scholar to um, either prove or disprove my identity. So, um, that's what that's what we're gonna do next. So, yeah, um, Pastor Trevor, I need your help on something really serious. For two years now, the voice of God has been in my head telling me that I am the Aquarian Messiah, the Aquarian Avatar, the Avatar of the Aquarian Age. And especially recently on the Pisces full supermoon, full solar eclipse, um, it, 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 it turned into, it got, it, <laughs> It, it became all about Jesus, <laughs> and um, I haven't been a Christian, and so I don't, I, I don't really know all that much about Jesus um, or uh, the scriptures. <laughs> um, so, uh, but um, the voice of God has been teaching me and leading me to all of these different sources to learn about Jesus and to learn more about who I am and um, <clears throat> and the most recent um, thing that God has guided me to do is to um, well I went to your service and everything that you said there was for me because it was about how Jesus' message was unexpected and wouldn't be understood by those who had closed minds and hardened hearts. And so it was delivered in a way that it kept the door closed to those who were not ready for it. And um, God has had me living pretty much incognito for two years um, because of that, because uh, of course, um, you know, I haven't really wanted to be crucified, uh, especially by Christians who would um, take offense to the fact that someone is calling themselves the Messiah. <laughs> so I, I need your help because if I'm not the Messiah, then I want to be stopped. I want to be saved from myself. Um, I have already made a vow <clears throat> which God guided me to make on Valentine's Day that if it is proven that I am not Jesus Christ that I will have electroconvulsive therapy and erase all of my memories from this lifetime and you may think that that's extreme but the thing is is that I have been prepared for this since I was a child so it doesn't do any good for me to just erase the past two years since God has been speaking through my mouth um, but I, I would have to erase my, my entire life. So, uh, and I'm perfectly willing to do that because um, my life is having this voice of God in my head, coming out of my mouth constantly, 24 hours a day, and uh, I have no other life but this. I've given up my, my old life completely. God guided me to give up absolutely everything and hit the road with only what I could carry and do His will. And so, um, the very last thing in the entire world that I would ever want to do is harm people or disrespect the Christian church or piss Jesus off. Um, so, uh, if I am not Jesus Christ, then I need to be stopped. I need to be saved from myself. And if I am, then I need help. Uh, I, I, would, I would love to, you know. <laughs> this is hard. This is extremely stressful, and it would be great to, um, to have some support, some backup. And um, uh, on Valentine's Day, um, when I made that vow, uh, what I did was I went to a doctor who referred me to counseling, and I thought, well, this is it. You know, they'll they'll assess me as mentally ill, and and uh, and then they'll prove that I'm not Jesus, and then I'll get the ECT. Um, except that actually what's happening is the assessments are proving that I'm not mentally ill 
and um, God arranged for me, God and this amazing doctor arranged for me to have free counseling and free help applying for disability, which is also something that even though I've been denied twice because um, Idaho doesn't consider three suicides disabled. Um, anyway, uh, I've had to apply a third time and I've also gotten free help doing that. So God is supporting me uh, in this extremely <laughs> stressful situation I find myself in because um, as you might imagine being the Messiah is an extremely stressful job. Um, <laughs> so now I have a counselor <laughs> who helps me to deal with the stresses of being the Messiah and uh, and I'm in the application process to get the disability and um, and I have claimed that I am disabled um, from being anything other than the Aquarian Messiah and so that is what I put on my paperwork because I am and I can I can uh, I have a video that explains that and I'm so I'm not going to you know go into that here but um, my point being that it was supposed to uh, disprove uh, me, uh, disprove me, uh, debunk me, and uh, instead it's supporting me. And every time I've, I've <laughs> um, done that, every time I've sought any kind of um, debunking, whoops, sorry, um, what I get is, is more proof from from God, from the world, from assessments, from signs and synchronicities and miracles all day and all night, <clears throat> saying that I am Jesus. So um, God's guided me to to check out several churches, and every time I've gone to a church, I have gotten extremely personally tailored messages and had extremely profound encounters and the most recent one of those was to come to your church and listen to your sermon which um, completely overwhelmed me because uh, yeah every single word of it was for me <clears throat> and I've also done a video on that and so I won't go into that either um, I'll just ask you to watch that video um, and after I left your service um, I realized that the only way to move forward now uh, because I, I want to be a part of your church and I want to be a part of the other church too it's a Saturday church so I can go to church Saturdays and Sundays but anyway um, I, I realized that the only way to move forward with this now uh, to deal with my shock and overwhelm and and um, stress <laughs> is to basically come out to you and ask you to help me because obviously you know a lot about Jesus <laughs> and a lot about the scriptures and you probably know a good deal about the second coming and you probably have always felt like you had a mission attached to that because there are things about you that God has told me that, um, that we can get into at another time too um, but uh, what it boils down to is that um, I think you're the only one that can help me with this and so uh, I need you to debunk me or help me <laughs> either way I need your help um, of course when you first see this you or see this or hear me or I don't know if I'm gonna be giving you this video or or if I'm gonna just use it for me to practice with but uh, let's just say you're gonna watch it and the first time you watch this or hear my claims you're going to think well she's mentally ill and she needs help and let's pray for her <laughs> and that is fine that is absolutely spectacularly fine if you think that and, and if you pray for me please do because this is extremely stressful um, but I also ask you as a scholar to look at the evidence because I do have enough evidence to back up my claim. God has been amassing this evidence for two years now and I have it. So if you take the time 
to look at what I will show you, I believe you will be convinced. But it will take time. And, um, but I need your help. I need your help. I'm desperate. Um, this has gotten extremely real now. This has also gotten extremely dark. Um, kind of losing light here. Um, this has gotten very real and I can't, I've, I've had to stay hidden. You know, nobody knows who I am. Um, and, and I can't stay hidden any longer. I'm, I'm becoming a part of churches. I was never, I wasn't allowed to get involved with anything for the last two years because I was uh, not allowed to, <laughs> it's like something crawling up my leg, <laughs> nature. I've not been allowed to get involved with anything because I've had to be mobile. I never know one day to the next, or I haven't known one day to the next where I was going to be, what I was going to be doing. Um, and so, uh, you know, I obviously couldn't commit to anything. But um, now God has led me to get involved with two churches and to create a, 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 an email address that I could give out to them. And, um, and even a, a Facebook account, a new one. And, um, and, and he's given me an Obama phone, so I have a phone number. And I'm contactable now, and I'm supposed to get connected now. It's time for me to come out. It's time for me to come out of the cave. And so, I need your help. Help me either stop this if I'm a fraud, or of course, um, <laughs> help me deal with this if I'm not. That's what I'm asking for from you. Okay. Um, this isn't somebody anybody's uh, ever ready for, but your sermon said it. People don't, they... Jesus comes in unexpected ways. The message comes in unexpected ways. God had me come out as not the Messiah you were expecting on November 11th of 2014, the 1111, which is the code for the Age of Aquarius. And um, so your sermon, uh, which used the word expectations, expect, and unexpected over a dozen times was about me. So um, I do realize this is, um, you know, this is a lot to ask and it's it's a it's it's going to profoundly shake your world that's what i'm here to do <laughs> i'm here to profoundly shake the entire world and um and and uh, it it uh it might start uh, with you you're the first one that i've really been allowed to to you know come out to in a long time i was able to come out during my initiation journey in humble to people, uh, but they weren't church people or, or they were um, uh, hippies. <laughs> and so when I said I was the Aquarian Messiah and then hung around them, they were like, wow, yeah, you really do seem to be the Aquarian Messiah. And it wasn't a big deal because they didn't have a bunch of um, preconceptions about what that meant. Which is also why, why I'm not a Christian. Um, and don't know the scriptures and don't know about Jesus because this very, very new wine that God has been pouring into me for two years had to be poured into a new flask, not an old flask. So there was nothing to get in the way of all this information. And so I've been writing the new New Testament for six months now. And now that I've, pretty, I've written it, everything humanity needs to save itself, save themselves, uh, now God is allowing me to learn about Jesus in the scriptures to see that I said it all before. Or if I didn't, you know, you're the one that would know that. So, so that's, that's where we're at. And, um, that's it. Um, I thank you for your time. And, um, You know, part of me is looking forward to this and part of me is terrified. <laughs> I'll be honest because, oh, of course, I'm not allowed to lie. I have no free will. I'm God's will made flesh. So I have no free will and I cannot lie. And um, 
and as I said, uh, I have videos and, and written evidence, whatever, um, that will explain that. All right. Thank you. And, um, yeah, <laughs> just thank you.